Welcome back everyone, my name is Altamar and we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Wrath of the Righteous. Where we left last time, we were on our way to maybe Moondance Meadow or possibly Reliable. Well no, we're not going to go to Reliable right now yet because that is going to be probably level 7 place. We're going to want another level before we can go face off against the uh, very annoying gargoyle squads that are there. So we're not going to worry too much about that just yet. In the meantime, though, we're going to wander this way. Actually, we're going to switch over to our army really quickly. There is stuff to do here, but we can't... Let me get over to the Nameless Ruins. Let's try one more up. Yep, there we go. Let's go face off against the Nameless Ruins. Kill some more demons. Uh, oh, got a very easy fight. We got some wraith... Or sorry, some whites and some zombies. Nothing to... Arduous for our wizard, who is a murder machine. Also, God of Rangers, we need we need way more than seven of them to be of any use at all. So Archer's not particularly good against zombies either, so that's where we're at. We're going to rely on magic heavily for this one, which is fine. Still not dead. You know, I actually will say the seven Rangers are nearly as good as 44 archers, which is kind of sad. Alright, let's wait. Let's let them do their turn. We'll go up and punch one of them. Because they're going to be in range pretty soon. Let's see how much damage we can do here. Four left of those. Perfectly fine. This is going well enough, I guess. And there's only three and four left, so it should be fine. We're going to take at least one casualty. I want to just now. Nah, let's not bother wasting any ammo on that. Let's kill that one, and let's see if we can finish them off with our. We <laughs> we definitely cannot. Okay, well then we've lost two guys so far. Don't want to waste any more mana here. Uh, let's just finish off the whites, I guess. And that's the end of the fight. This had a lot of life. Like a surprising amount. Alright, we found a crossbow. It is a unidentified heavy crossbow, which is the crossbow of judgment, which is a plus two heavy crossbow, uh, which has a crit range reduced to 20%. Whenever it threatens a critical hit against an evil Kadok creature, it's automatically confirmed. That's actually kind of nice. Cool. Let's move our army back somewhere else. Can we recruit any more armies? I have several armies kicking around. Right, we bought this army. We need to move it up. I also have army three. And I don't remember what I was doing with army three. Let's move this one up first though. Got some clerics, some more archers. I can almost reach the other army, but not quite. Army three is a squad of shield bearers. They are okay, but we're gonna leave them there for now. I'm gonna actually move them like there, just so they're out of the recruitment zone. Unfortunately, we have nothing to recruit at the moment, so that's fine, I suppose. Uh, let's get Army 2 to head back towards Army 1. Whichever army is the reinforcing army. And we'll just merge them up, because we can actually reach them. That is a bunch of extra soldiers. And you only have three slots, which sucks. So we'll leave the clerics out for now. Oh, you're out of movement points. Right. Actually, you aren't. Master of Maneuver. All right. Perfect. Join this army. Done. We now have the clerics and the rangers in the army, although the rangers need a couple more of them to be of any real use. Nightingale Grove. I actually don't call this one. Is this the one with the feral smilodon? Or the, um, plagued smilodons? Because... Smilodons, whatever they are. No, it's not. It's something different. Get your hands off that, it's mine. Oh, we are fatigued. This is gonna be a hard fight. Yours? Well, watch it. Wait, someone's here. Run. Okay, they're running away. Oh, and then someone's coming up, though. Nobody's running. Draw your weapons and fight, you cowards, or I'll cut you down myself. No, don't do that. I needed to cast buff spells and rest ahead of time. Bunch of marauders. Okay. Um. 
turn off AI for a sec. Let's see if we can't get some some sort of buffs going here. Nope, Ember, don't run off. Alright, we're gonna fight, like, right now. Oh, we are taking huge damage. <laughs> I think we may need to rest and then buff beforehand. Yeah, for sure. This is going real poorly. Alright, off to the autosave. That event happens like instantly as upon, upon entering there. That's really interesting. Oh, and we got new recruits as we arrived there. Cool. Let's quickly recruit those archers and some clerics. Why not? Move this army off and then we'll, uh, I think we can reach the other army too. Then we'll quickly rest and we'll do Nightingale Grove and in theory not die because we'll pre-buff this time. Now our army is getting more substantial. We got 119 archers, 41 clerics, still only seven rangers, but that's fine. All right, let's clear rest, and actually we'll be able to move our army again a little bit more. Having done that, I will say that our group gets fatigued really fast. It might be because we're in medium encumbrance. We really need to take care of soon because it it may be slowing us down in terms of walking further before fatigue kicks in. Alright, let's do some buffs. So, shield. No reason to pause. Mirror image. On your you can use that. You can use that on her. Always open to ideas. Uh, you use that on her. Let me help. And you use that. <laughs> Round one of spellcasting complete. Let's go with... I think we... Mugen needs to be on yet. What else we got for spells and abilities? What's the other mutagen? Oh, constitution. Right, okay. I was just kind of curious because I couldn't remember. Alrighty. Um, we will win this war. Try and cast blur on yourself, I guess. If it works. Is the heart's greatest challenge. And I want... Needs better spells. We need to hit level 7. Ready to move out. Shield just in case. Why do I have two enlarged persons on this bar and two mage armors on this bar? Mirror image yourself. You have a fireball as well. My will is resolute. And let's go with nothing else. That should be pretty okay, I think. We're sitting at 32 armor class plus defensive. 26 armor class, which which isn't a blur, right? Because it didn't work. Arcane spell no. failure. Alright, that should be fine. We'll cast haste when, bit, when combat starts, and uh, yeah, we'll be alright. We'll walk... actually... yeah, there we go. We'll walk forward 8 feet. And of course, here comes the enemies. We will be victorious. Uh, keep this off for just one second. We should haste. Ember, why? Come on, haste. Let's do it. Okay, front line. People can just start You've to go. The wrong mongrel. Be gone, fiend. There we go. All right. The light. Ember, why? For real. If you're going to be in the middle of combat, just at least stand somewhere back. Kill that guy, and then we're off to the alchemists. Alchemist. Easy fight now that we're all buffed up. Ember, don't die. Why are you in the front of the ranged group? Let Lan take the hits. He's got tons of life. Anywho, fight's over. We won. Not super de duper hard. Any. Uh, it's some experience. Not as much as I would have liked, but... Master of Great Axe, we are really high on... Um... My dog is barking super. Oh, there's two special hammers. Lots of random magical items. Blood Clarity. 
It is a cloak resistance plus two, and whenever they land a killing blow, they gain immunity to mind affecting conditions. It's actually pretty neat. I stole someone's eye, that's not super weird at all. I'll just take all that. Cloaks and random stuff. Masterwork dagger. This group knows how to equip their people. At least everything's masterwork. And very sellable. Did I not pick that up? Nope. Alright. What do we got? All that junk. All that junk. All that junk. That how high is our... We are closing in on heavy encumbrance. Okay. We gotta be a little careful. But we're heading to town, or ten camp, I guess, soon enough. In which case, we'll sell everything that we need to. We found a random Felcata. Letter to a noble crusader, which... Oh my god, that's a very long letter. Alrighty, well... <clears throat> here we go. I hope this letter finds you in good health, Sir William. I see now, with great sadness, that you have quite forgotten and abandoned us. It's been three years since you visited your native lands and your father's family... And your father at your family crypt. Last summer, some passers-by broke the lock on it and spent the night inside. As a steward, I installed a new lock and cleaned up all the wreckage. Your servant who went missing, whom you inquired after in your previous letter, has indeed been seen, but at present his precise whereabouts are unknown. He came to us, looked at us with contempt, said something through his teeth, gathered taxes for you, ate a whole goose for free at the tavern, jumped on his horse, and galloped off. If he went missing somewhere on the road, we wouldn't know anything about it. It's been a complete disaster here, even without the missing strangers to account for. Seven days ago, all cows gave black milk, and the milkman who tasted it out of drunken stupidity died in the pain of twisted bowels. Ew, that sucks. There's something wrong with the spring, the water stinks of rotten eggs, and the cattle won't drink it. Maybe sulfur. Besides, some scoundrel threw some dead dogs in the closest well, the one on the crossroads, so we've filled it with soil. I expect the demons are giving us trouble any way they can. Our cattle are dying of thirst. Children are going missing in your protected forest. The woodcutters saw some scarecrows, which they swore were alive. They spoke of angry faces and bared teeth. They're afraid to get too close and watch them from afar. Frightening things are going on in the woods. I fear that witches and demons have settled in your protected forest to do their wicked mischief. They are probably the ones who picked the bones of your servant who's gone missing. And you ask us, as if you suspect us of being involved, as if we could kill and rob an honest man. It's upsetting, Sir William. We never touched your servant, and if we did, he was a wretched man, smug and nasty. And we have no food or water. And our children are going missing. Instead of serving your Lady Galfrey, you should be home defending us and bringing us food. You must have some gold, lord that you are. There's no one here to protect us, besides you. The city lads have only come to find new recruits and take our gold. They don't have the authority to do anything more. And the send-off we give our lads and lasses, they take. The whole village comes out to say farewell. It's just like a funeral. None of them have returned home to the village yet. We are dying. I cannot tell you... So, I can, so I'll tell you the honest truth, Sir William. We cannot live like this anymore. But we cannot die in such terrible conditions either. So we agreed with our neighbors to burn down your forest on the next new moon. So your protected forest where the dark beasts live. We'll surround it, set it on fire from all sides, and hire a wizard to steer the wind. We won't be put off just because the forest is protected or because no one may shoot game there or enter therein or cut down its trees. Of course, they'll be very angry at us for burning down your family forest because we've already been cutting its wood and shooting game there for there's nothing else to eat and no other wood. We won't let the forest beasts steal our children. If you wish, come and execute me, execute all of us, but we won't put up with this anymore. And that's the that. Respectfully, Steward of Vixola Village to Lord to Lord Sir Willem, not Willam or William Willam, which is a much weirder name. Wait, hang on. It is Willem. Okay, I was right. It is a weird name. Let's go look around for some any further loot. So it's not looking good for that particular thing. And I guess we're out of here. Let's head back to camp really quickly. One, we can. Uh, rest away some of our corruption before it gets to be too bad, and two, we can sell all of our junk, and then we'll go deal with the uh, plagued Smilodons, which is a unforgiving fight, if I recall correctly. We'll try our best, we'll buff up our guys and hope that we can nuke them in rapid succession, because they are quite strong, as I recall. But we'll see. We're almost at camp. Uh, no, we don't need to rest yet. Actually, how's our army? We need to move our army. Uh, we're not going to fight the level 4 army yet. That's too many bugs. We will, however, go fight this demon army up here first. We should be more than able to fight them. 
still only some soldiers, I think, or something. I think our other group already took care of this fight. Yeah. Pretty sure we did. Pew! And there goes all their archers in rapid succession. Mm, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Alright, what do we got? We got Leon Hands, others, we got Leon Hands South, and we got Smite Evil. You has a bonus to attack, damage, and AC equal to its charisma against evil units. Let's smite evil on that guy. And. Oh, we'll just defend. We don't need to go in yet. I don't know how long Smite Evil lasts for, but we'll see. Uh, shoot the fighters, I guess. See if we can take them out. Not quite. The 119 archers will take on their little footmen people. Wait, wait. Go smack these guys. Meh, nah, fight these guys. Our archers can take care of these ones. And that's the end of the fight. We didn't waste any excess mana, which is good. We have a long way to go to level. What did we get from that? Finance points, right, per day. Nice. Uh, this elemental fight I recall being a little bit annoying, but we are going to have to do it. We could try it out. Uh, the only one that's going to be of significant annoyance is going to be... Oh, I can't fire each. <laughs> Fair enough. It's going to be the um, fire elementals, because we won't be able to shoot them with our scorching ray. Entering our little thing. We need to go talk to Sila as well. Let's do that. Because of her little side quest we did last time with Curl and Janna Aldori and... Follow me. Other guy that I can't remember his name for some reason. If I were Sila, where would I be? Oh, right there. Literally ran past her. Sila looks sad and pensive. It's good to see you. Get this, Janna, the one who ran away when we were attacked by demons, never went back to her unit. She was seen running towards Numeria. Looks like she deserted. Anyways, that's not what I wanted to talk about. Or, not the only thing. Since our raid on the Houndheart's camp, I've had the sinking feeling that I made a mistake dragging you into this, I mean. I should have known that a raid along the edge of the world wound wouldn't be so easy. But mostly I was wrong about a lot of people. About Janna, who lost her nerve and abandoned her friends. About Curl. I knew he was a thief, but I really thought he turned over a new leaf and deserved a little compassion and trust. And Alan. I thought we were kindred spirits, friends through thick and thin. But looks like I was wrong about him too. Sila looks at you closely, waiting for your answer. Don't lose your trust in people, Sila. Actually... Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do good. Don't, where are we? Yeah, we should be fine. In, this is a weird game in that if you do too many good things, it'll actually shift you towards neutral good for some stupid reason. But whatever, it's fine. Don't lose your trust in people, Sila. So if you made a few mistakes, it's no reason to give up on your ideals. Somebody has to show people there's a better path. Sila's expression brightens. Thank you, my friend. I needed that support. She sighs. Thank you for listening to my grumbling and for helping me get to the bottom of this. I'm not going to leave things as they stand. If I get the chance, I'll track down Janna and see if I can talk some sense into her, and find out Kurt why Curl did what he did. I can't stop thinking about what Alan told me in the end. I really have become more powerful than paladins who are far more experienced and selfless than me. There's something not right about it. A servant of Ayamade should gain their powers through dedicated personal effort. It's the only way to make sure they'll use the power for good. Our journey so far, it's all wrong, and it means I need to be three times as hard on myself now. So if we look at our... yeah, we're very close to losing our lawful good. Which means we won't be able to level up our monks, so we need to shift ourselves back towards lawful. I'm not sure why they added that. If you just do good things, it shifts you towards neutral good or pure good. But it's kind of annoying. So we're very, very close to losing our lawful level. In fact, I think I'm, mm, I may actually go and do the lawful one on that one. Because we really need to start shifting it back. And there might be some decisions where we don't have a choice and we have to do good as opposed to lawful, and then we might actually lose our ability to level up ourselves as a monk. Unlike our other group, which doesn't really matter if we shift away from lawful now, because we only needed the first level of monk for some abilities. This one is our main class, so... Alright. 
There we go. So it's basically the same. We just shifted ourselves a little more to the lawful side of things. So that should hopefully help a little bit. Uh, let's go sell some things and rest, and then we'll go to the moonlight area and hopefully see what we can do there. Bulk selling. That is, a, we're selling 393 pounds worth of stuff. Um, all these can go as well, and we don't have anyone that uses those hammers. Those are just light hammers, right? Not elven, or not gnomish hook hammers, which would be useful later on for one of our members. We have some magical bows we should probably put on people. Unbending armor. Might be okay. We're definitely not keeping the chain shirts around. Uh, the blood cloak, though. I'll do more inventory management stuff. Actually, I'll do that between videos. There's no point in doing it now. It's not going to be super duper important. But let's just take a look at what he has for... Does he have any special quarter staves? Quarter staves we can borrow? Or not borrow, but buy. Like a level 2 one would be really nice. Although it's not looking good on that account. Um... Yeah, there's nothing here. Oh, that black dragon fang is so good. But anyways, um... Yeah, nothing of note. Time to leave, go rest. Oh! The crusader says, Hey, little one, they say you can do magic. An old silver-haired fighter sizes Ember up skeptically, apparently baffled to find such a young girl in the middle of a war. He's cradling his wounded arm and has, that has been hastily bandaged. Can you, can you heal me? Yes. Of course, Ember whispers a spell and touches the bloody bandages. Thank you, that's so much better. The soldier rips off the blood-caked rags and strokes the healthy skin underneath. How old are you? You're only a child. I have a granddaughter at home. Just like you. Oh, little girl, how did you end up here? What are you doing in the thick of it with us? Ember gives him a light-hearted smile. Smile. I'm just like you. I came to the thick so the thick wouldn't come to other kids, like your granddaughter. Well, I'll be so little and yet more courage than some officers. The old man runs his rough hand over her hair. Then she smiles at him again. The crow on her shoulder rubs its head on his hand like a cat. Talking to you takes a load off my mind. I reckon it's not just my arm you healed. The soldier leaves, shaking his head pensively. Ember waves happily and turns towards you and notices you. Hi. It's weird. Most of the soldiers are very religious, but they look at you and me, two atheists, as if we're saints. Is it really so unusual? These people are scared. They want somebody to take care of them. Someone. Some turn to the gods, others to their commanders and still others rely on those who can impress them with big speeches or magical tricks. But the truth is that they just want to be little again with their mom and dad holding them tight and shielding them from harm. Everyone wants that. It's a pity it can't happen. But you know, it's surprising. So many soldiers come to me. They say I bring comfort, that I give them strength. But I don't do anything like that at all. I just only talk to them nicely. I'm just a feather-brained little girl. What if, I, what if something I say is wrong? Maybe I should keep quiet. But I can tell that my words make them feel better. I guess I'm confused. Don't second-guess yourself. You're helping all of us. The soldiers, our companions, and me. You think so? I think I'm just wandering around saying silly things. She taps a scarred finger on her cheek and then breaks into a smile. All right. Must be true if you say so. Well, that's adorable. Let's move. Uh, we're not going to talk to Leoder. We don't need to yet. I wonder if Irabeth can hire us more mercenaries. I never actually checked this before. Nope. Darn. That would have been neat. Let's go rest and get out of here. Now that our encumbrance is down to light, we should be fine. I don't know what our group encumbrance is. You aren't from a noble family, right? You were taught to fight and read prayers, but... Okay. We don't need that. Let's just go murder things. Area exit. Same group as always. Although I really want someone to replace Sozial. Maybe we'll bring Regil along. He's a good melee fighter. I remember this fight being kind of rough, so we are going to be really buffing ahead of time. At least I think this is the fight that is tough. Who's got good stealth? Anyone got any stealth in this group? Nope, I've definitely neglected my stealth. Just sneak up and see if we can see them. Or getting into combat. Follow me. They're right up here somewhere. There they are. Okay. So plagued smilodons. 
I stand ready. Alrighty, let's buff up everyone. See what we can do. This could be. This is going to be a tough fight. Nothing even remotely close to could be. I don't even think that our um armor buffs are gonna matter that much. Because no I think they have massive hit bonuses. Okay, here we go. Blur and blur. That's important. We have mirror image for her, even though that's not going to really help her too much. Protection from evil on her. She's our primary tank, so we can desperately hope she'll survive. She's not going to. <laughs> In all fairness. Normally, I would be like, oh, yeah, we'll be fine. 35 armor now. Um, what's her amulet? Oh, she's already at natural armor plus two, so key. Three levels. So it should be an extra one. Should give her one more armor for a key bark skin. Nope, it did not. Oh, because that doesn't make sense either. Weird. Anyways, okay. Uh, what else do we got? Are we ready to move out? Do we have anything else that's going to keep us alive? Prayer, maybe? Actually, we'll get protection from evil communal. Alright. We're saving, and then we're going to cast haste and go in. Okay. This is gonna suck. By the way. The wrong Do not fear. Do not we need to kill this one instantly. Okay. Go on. Yes, this is actually going really, really well. That wasn't so bad. What is their attack modifier? Plus 22 to hit, but we are getting some really good concealment mischances there. And our armor class was 41, which means they needed a 19 to hit us. So we were actually, never mind, that armor class really did help out. 41 armor class, though, at level 6 is ridiculously high. Anyways, we won. And we are not up a level. We're close, but still not there yet. Let's try and get this down to the bottom and see what we just picked up. Keen composite long... Actually, we should probably throw new weapons on people. We are using trash tier weapons in all honesty so let's give her the crossbow judgment let's give you the not that one the light crossbow of oracleness and lan gets a brand new keen crossbow i think a little bit higher crit range uh we won't get the curse for minus one penalty to will fort and reflex saving throws but Oh, it is a DC 20. It's pretty high. Okay, we'll throw that back on for now. Yeah, we lose the crit range, but I think that one's Onwards. slightly better if the, the curse actually goes off. I don't think there's any other enemies in this area. I think that was it. And there's the zone transition anyways. I'll save first, though. We're wandering off to possibly die. Nothing. All right. Let us head out. Um, I think that's going to be pretty much the end of our video. We're at 28 minutes. We might do another quick army battle if uh, we have one lined up. But otherwise, I think in the next video we'll be able to level up. There's got to be something. To do. We can go to Chili Creek, actually. That'll be a nice, easy, in theory, event for us to do. We could go take on the demon army at this encampment here. I think we could probably reach it. We also can do the Nameless Runes in the next video before we do the Reliable Redoubt, which is where the Hell Knights are. If I recall correctly. 27 gargoyles. That is a crap ton of gargoyles. That was not a particularly good shot. We just get... Uh, we can't attack him. There's a tree in the way. Can he reach us? Oh yeah, he for sure can reach us. Might as well move up. Let's try and block him from hitting our archers. So 
someone's gonna get hit. Oh, he just walked right through. Hey, our rangers didn't take that much damage. That's surprising. Zero killed, and our melee attack is awful. Smite evil on them. Didn't do a whole lot. Five archers down. We're still well within our infirmary range. I'm gonna move my archers away. Let's see if we can get our bows out. No, this is fine. No, we're not even gonna bother. Look how the rangers can shoot in melee. Um, not gonna bother casting any more spells. We're pretty, pretty set. Although they are just taking the most punishment. Look at that giant gargoyle too. It's huge. Putting in our own wizard's probably like 10 feet tall. There we go. Problem solved. Killed the gargoyles. We lost five archers, but they came back, and that is great. What do we get for that? Apparently nothing. What's this level 3 army? That's a lot of dudes. Tyranny of mind. Okay. What do we have for doing this one? Material points and energy points. Broken phylactery of Stevenius the Rotten and a Magician's Ring. So nothing really we want. Okay. I guess we'll end it here then. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please hit them below. Others will see you next time. Take care.